Hello DIYers, this is Tom Luke. I thought I'd show you how a toaster works. Oh, once you take out all the bottom screws, which may be a safety type screw, and you have the, the proper type of, this happens to be a three-pointed type of uh, attachment for removing screws, and they had one black Phillips screw holding the base on. And the last thing to get off is this little knob. Usually toasters have different clever ways of attaching knobs so a person can't normally take it off. This one has, there's a little tooth here. So when they assemble the toaster, this little assembly slides on and the tooth snaps down a little slot. So to get it off, you have to get a screwdriver down in to push down on the end of the plastic as you pull on it to get this piece off. Once you get that off, then you can finish taking the rest of the toaster off. This one has electronics inside of it and one connector. And here's a little four pin connector that's removed. So now it's removed. It's off. So on your toaster, you have your plug. Normally one side is, has a fat section and thin. The fat is neutral and the thin is hot. So to follow the electricity, having your meter set up on continuity, you can put one pin on and the wire goes along this path. So we know we have continuity to the input here. Check the neutral side, and it goes to this side. And this shows that there's no short. It's only going to one side. Same thing with the hot. Hot only goes to one side, and not the other. Now this assembly here is a switch and an electromagnet. When you bring your arm down, this little metal plate pushes on these two spring-loaded tabs to have continuity go on one side to the other. So I push down the two tabs. Let's see. Continuity. On the neutral side, it only has one spring-loaded tab. So when you bring the plate down, the plate pushes on those spring-loaded tabs, and that's what applies power from one side to the other side. Once the power gets to the other side, um, this is color-coded. Red is on the hot side, blue is on the neutral side, and they go to your elements. And they also feed around to the other side, to your elements, and this jumper wire uh, continues a path to feed all the different elements in your toaster. Some toasters are made a little more sophisticated, so only one side will be on if you're doing one toast or only one of the elements if you're doing a bagel for toasting on one side. But this is a more non-sophisticated, so when power is applied, both sides are gonna heat whether you're using one or two or a bagel. Um, the electronics, that you select will decide on how long the heating is going to be done before it releases. Now once power is applied, not only does it go to your elements, but there's two smaller wires here, um, a red and a blue, that comes into this connector and that those two wires are sourcing off some of the power to go to the circuit board to supply electricity to the circuit board, convert it to DC to run the little electronics. Two other wires, these yellow wires, goes to this electromagnet. So as soon as you close it, power goes into the circuit board, comes back out through these wires, energizes the electromagnet. The electromagnet holds the plate down and the plate will stay down till the electronics says release and it comes up. Now, my particular toaster has an intermittent problem where 
when you bring the arm down, it doesn't always stay closed. And my thought is, is that like right now, I'm not getting a connection across. I have to... So I'm thinking that um, the contacts inside have pitted and the whole assembly needs replacing. Or you can take it out, drill out the little rivets so you can clean the contacts, re-rivet it together and reuse it. But that's how a toaster works. This is very simple. Power comes in, will go to a relay that closes when you hold your lever down and that power goes to the electronics and the electronics controls the electromagnet to release when it's timed out. Thank you for viewing this simple toaster diagram.